Good morning, welcome back to another race day vlog. Today I am racing at the Folkestone Coastal 10 kilometers. Um, it's about an hour and a half drive from my house down to the coast in Kent. Um, it's currently 6.14 a.m., nice early start. But yeah, I've got my cup of tea, the most important thing, and pre-race breakfast today I'm going for a chocolate croissant. I am going off at nine o'clock in the elite way. Um, anyone under 35 minutes could go off in the, in a, in the first wave at nine o'clock. Um, so that's my plan. Um, I believe I'm fifth fastest on paper. Um, so when you entered this race, you had to say what time you thought you were gonna run. Um, just for the COVID regulations, you can only go off in groups of six or 12, I'm not sure at the moment, we'll have to see. And I put my time as 32 minutes 30 which is my A girl, um, we'll see if we can get somewhere close to that today, anywhere around 33 minutes I'd be happy with. Um, PB currently sits at 33.47 I believe, something like that. This week hasn't gone perfectly in terms of the lead up um, to the race. I've been ill, I was actually ill Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, just a bit of a head cold. Um, did a COVID test, that came back as clear so it wasn't COVID just I'm still a little bit blocked up but yeah not the best start and also had a bit of an Achilles sprain um, 10 days ago um, so I had to take three days off running which is unusual for me but it seems to have cleared up today um, cleared up now and today will be a good test for it so yeah 10k on the road today hope you enjoy the journey arrived in the beautiful Folkestone on the coast. The sun has just come out for this morning's race. I'm just starting to do a bit of a warm up now on the course. So it's a 10k race this morning. Literally run 5k in one direction and turn around. Morning guys, you right? And then, yeah, turn around, come all the way back. Sun's just come out behind me. Um, it's completely flat. Down here in Folkestone, got the white cliffs of, well not Dover because we're not in Dover, but the chalky cliffs. Yeah, feeling good, pretty excited. Just gonna do my usual like two and a half kilometer warm up, a few strides and a few drills, nothing crazy. And yeah, get racing. Wow, this is gonna be fast. So I've just turned around now, went a kilometre that way. The wind's definitely behind you on the way out. So that means the last 5k is into the wind. It's not strong wind, but there definitely is a wind, but that's what it's like at the coast. Um, so I'm gonna go out hard and try and fight the wind on the way back. 8.53 is it? Uh -huh. There's a 43. 43. Nice. Yes. 15 minutes to start. Woo.
<laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> ben, that was fast. That was great. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Oh, according to my watch, 32 minutes and 55, yeah. 56 seconds. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, you must have come in top 10, I think. But it's so hard in the wind. Really? First 5k, honestly, I was going 3 three ten k Really? And then on the way back, you couldn't even hit 320s, really. Wow. It was so difficult. Everyone was saying it was really windy when they yeah. were away. Ben, I think we need to move over there. Okay. on my own the whole time. Really? Yeah. So the, I made the right decision not to go with the front pack because they were going by 31 minute pace. Yeah, they were quick. It was too quick. But then I was going at my pace, which was, my watch said 312s on the way there, which is the pace I wanted to go. But no one was with me and then there was nobody really behind me for another like 100 metres. So I was in no man's land, but made it a bit difficult in the wind. But yeah, really happy with that. Yeah, mate. Into the path of the runners. We've given plenty of room. There's some runners coming through. Could be so on the right. Can you just... So there we go. 32.57, my watch said. I'm pretty happy with that, given the conditions into the wind. Really lovely day. Um, special thank you for Meg Hello. for filming and driving down. And this is how I like to uh, repay her. They've given away free dry shampoo, which is the one she uses apparently. So here you go. And this isn't cheap, you know. That is not cheap. That's good. There you go. Flog it. <laughs> Thanks. They can pay pay for the petrol. Yeah. I'm not here down. But yeah, nice to meet a few people as well that have been watching along on the videos. I think we're just going to do a little bit of a walk, cool down, and then drive home for a barbecue. Enjoy that? Yeah, it was good. It was fun. It was a lovely day as well. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, the wind was really difficult on the way back. But it was safe for everyone, and I kind of knew it was going to be so. I think I paced it pretty well. I have to look. Oh shit! My heart rate monitor came off in the run, oh, so no. I need to go get it. I put it with a cameraman. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I need to go and get that. Got it. Just didn't do it tight enough. Whoopsie. <laughs> it's not damaged or anything. Good. Yeah, it just came loose, and I was like, it's going to come off, so I had to take it off. Oh, really? And gave it to someone. Yeah, I gave it to a photographer. <laughs> Lucky you found him again. Oh, I was hoping to do some stats. Nerding out later, but that won't happen. Oh well, got your Strava and your watch. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what it's all about. <laughs> Coffee and the bacon baps. Look at this. This is no no, no ordinary bacon bap. This is a succulent bacon bap <laughs> from M and S. Mm -mm. Let's have a bit of this coffee. Then. That is beautiful. For you, Dom Dennis. From the Lift Cafe. Oh yeah. Oh, this is good. That is lovely. Oh, I might have to get another one. Take away. Yeah, get one. Take away. What a lovely day, sitting in a car in a construction. Hey, yeah, perfect. The I bet it's a really is nice view when the, when the uh, building work isn't going on. Mm. How is it? Mm. Not quite a PB, but pretty good effort. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, yeah. that's good. So there we go, back home now. Lovely little medal from the Folkestone 10K today. Um, overall, the race went really well. Um, I had a look at the splits on my Strava. If you're not following me, my name is Ben Felton. Check out my Strava. Um, I post all my training on there so you can follow along. Um, so the average pace was 3.17 today. Um, the wind was right was behind us for the first 5K. Then we turned around and it was ahead um, into the headwind on the way back so my first k was 307 then second k i tried to slow down a bit because i knew it was too quick um i didn't want to go out too hard that was one of my main things i wanted to take away from this race is to, i wanted to do the first five comfortably which i did um I did it in around 16 minutes so all the girls are just back um so yeah nice even splits for the first 5k then we turned round straight into the wind 318 323 321 326 that night for a little bit slow there but straight into the headwind um, but yeah finished the race in 3257 happy to be under 33 minutes again I'd like to have been a bit close to 3230 but given how strong that wind was on the way back I probably would have been around 32 minutes 30 had there not been the wind but then it was a coastal race so I didn't know that was that there was going to be a headwind um, started in the elite wave today which was nice um, 
if you were under 35 minutes for 10k, so there's 45 of us I believe, we all started together at 9 o'clock um, in what they called the, the elite wave. Um, the guy that ended up winning it did it in 31.07, um, just to give you an idea of how strong the wind was, he went through the first 5k in 14.59 I believe, just under 15 minutes, so he would have been on for a 30 minute 10k had the, there not been a wind on the way back, but that was how it was on the day. Um, I quite enjoyed the the, um, the fight on the way back, if you like. Um, it was lovely to meet a few guys um, down there today who'd been watching the videos. Um, also got to meet Ben Parks, which was nice. Um, wish him all the best with his return from injury, both physically and mentally. Um, I think it's great how he's sharing that journey on YouTube. And yeah. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, um, pretty chuffed with that 10k, it was exactly, um, my PB was 32.48 um, on, and that was my Strava PB because it wasn't an actual race um, in October lockdown and today I ran 32.48 on, on my Strava time, so exactly the same as my PB, so it was a race PB of 32.55 around 6th place, um, so yeah, two more weeks in two weeks I've got another 5k race um, in St Albans um, which I have a discount code for Ben underscore is running 10 I believe for 10% discount I'll leave a link in description and the code so you can if you want to race me at 5k you can come down and yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching hope you enjoy the vlog and we'll see you with another one soon bye